Hello everyone. This video is going to show a brief example of 3D nested loops and then I'm going to talk briefly about going into 4D. I've never coded more than 4D for anything before, but uh, if you're into theoretical physics or something like that and you need to store more than four dimensions, uh, you can just ex extend, extrapolate this coding scheme. So we start off with uh, clear all, close all, CLC. So uh, we clear all the variables, close all the figures, and uh, clear the command window. Define a counter, CT1 is equal to 1. And then this is the meat of uh, three-dimensional nested loops. So three nested loops all put together. So you have four. You start with, a f they're all three or four loops. You can do it with four, while loops, whatever you want to use. Four, I equal one, one to ten by one. J equal to 1 to 10 by 1, and K equal to 1 to 10 by 1. So we're using IJK notation. It's pretty straightforward, or it's typical if you're going to talk about um, iterative schemes. Then we define X. X is our uh, parameter of interest, whatever that may be for you. I just kind of made up an equation where we have X of IJK. So this is going to define three indices for the x variable. So you're going to have a three-dimensional variable and it's going to be ct1 plus j. So whatever the value of j is in the iteration, you're going to add it to ct1 and then ct1 is going to continuously increase every iteration. So we're basically, to walk through what's going to happen, the code's going to walk down, it's going to define this, it's going to start this loop and then get to this loop and start it and then get to this loop and then run this loop all ten times and then it's going to go back up to this loop and start it second time and then go and run this loop all ten times and so on until you run the second loop ten times and then it's going to walk back up to the then it'll it'll go back to the first loop and start it on its second iteration run both loops uh, through the, their full cycle, run this full cycle again, where you run this one ten times, then run this one with this one running inside of it ten times, and then keep going on the third dimension and cycle through everything. And so if we run it, we can look at the output. The output is X. It's going to be a 10 by 10 by 10 matrix. And so if you look at the value of the matrix, we can look at it in the variable editor. You'll only see two dimensions of it at a time. So this is the value of x, uh, i and j, k equal to 1 are these, these values here. And then we have i and j, k equal to 2, and columns 1 through 2, 3 through 4, and keep going. And so you can only look at two dimensions at a time. It gets to be a pain. So let's say we wanted to add a fourth dimension. We could add 4t equal to uh, 1 colon 1 colon 10. And then we would add an end here and then we would add a, uh, a t variable there. So now we have a four dimension. x is a four dimensional array. So if we run that and we look at our output. Now x is four dimensional here. So we can look at the output if we want, but once again, we can only look at two dimensions at a time. So now we're looking at uh, value of i comma j, k equal to one, t equal to one, and then we have all the variable, all the values there until we get to the next, well, I skipped one, but now we're at i comma j three comma one so this keeps going on down and down and down so four dimensional variables get a little bit clumsy but if you're doing three dimension of space and one dimension of time you need to deal with four dimensions so uh, that's basic nested loop coding scheme i hope you found this useful and have a good day